Thank you, Kate. The Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia now. Day two of a high-profile mob murder trial. A former Rhode Island mob associate who was given a new identity took the stand today in the case against former mob boss Fra Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been tracking the case from the beginning and was in federal court in Boston. He's here now with the latest. Mob associate Thomas Hillary testified he's the one who introduced Salemi to the man Salemi is accused of killing. This is a photo from Thomas Hillary's 1976 Newport wedding. That's him on the left. On the right, future mob captain Robert Bobby DeLuca. Hillary says he was close to then mob boss Raymond Ellis Patriaca and his son, and it led to a lucrative life of crime. He testified, if you had union problems, we'd straighten it out. We did hijacking, shakedowns. It was like out of the movies. Hillary says he met Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi in the late 1980s, and they formed a crew in Boston. This is a police surveillance photo of some of that crew. Salemi's on the right. That's Hillary. Salemi's son is in the orange jumpsuit, and Stephen DeSaro on the far left. Prosecutors say Salemi, his son, and Paul Wiedek killed DeSaro in 1993 because they feared the Boston nightclub owner was going to cooperate with the FBI. Hillary says he's the reason Salemi and DeSaro met. He says he and DeSaro grew up in Providence. He testified, he was my friend and a good, good guy. He was like a kid brother. Hillary cooperated with the FBI in a separate case and was relocated under the Witness Protection Program in 1994. Defense attorneys bringing up Hillary's underworld lifestyle questioned his ability to tell the truth. DeSaro's body was exhumed from behind a Providence mill building in March 2016. Jurors are expected to visit that scene tomorrow. With the Target 12 investigators Tim White, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tim.